Going off a, I don't know, very frustrating loss against the Patriots. It was just a game where I feel like we absolutely should have won, but mistakes, especially mistakes near the end of the game, kind of contributed to us losing. I will say I'm trying out 10 minute quarters for this week. I'm trying to find the right balance between, I would say scoring overall, between I don't want to see like 40 to 40 games. I also don't want to see like 17 to 11 games, even though those do happen in real life. The 29-21 was kind of in a really good spot, but I think we could have scored a lot more. I'm going to try out 10 minute quarters. We're going to see how it plays this week against Miami. It's a good team. They've got a pretty good offensive line and obviously some pretty good playmakers too with Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell. The Dolphins should be a very, very good team here. Uh, although Tua is only a 76 overall and because of performance overall this year in season two of Giants franchise he is playing down to a 74 accuracy wise still looks okay they also drafted Edward Sloan so we might be seeing him make the start today he's got the day one starter tag and quarterback of the future tag remember he was in this past draft class, obviously says rookie, and he's got a little bit of a bigger arm compared to Tua. Accuracy is not quite as good, but again, a rookie quarterback, aggressive forcing of passes. I don't know who we'd prefer to see today. Either way, one of those quarterbacks will make the start. Tony Pollard is their running back. Chase Edmonds, Alexander Madison might be a running back by committee type thing. Alec Ingold is their fullback, of course. Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, and they signed Calvin Ridley. This could be a really good offense. Eric Ebron at tight end, but he's injured, so we'll see Hunter Long today. They have no tight end depth. Blake Ferguson, I think, is a long snapper. And then at left tackle, Teron Armstead's going to be a really big problem for our edge rushers today. Liam Eikenberg at left guard. Connor Williams, hook him horns. Robert Hunt and Austin Jackson at right tackle. Trevor Warner might start over him with the day one starter tag, and they're both 74 overall. So it'll be interesting to see if he starts or if Austin Jackson gets the start. He was somebody we looked at in the draft, and he does have star development at right tackle, so it seems like he's probably the starter. Run blocking's really bad on him. Left end, Emmanuel Agba, Christian Wilkins, kind of more like a defensive tackle, uh, with Damian Davis out of Georgia. He was a top 10 pick, even a little bit higher than that, if you remember. He was top six maybe in the draft, I think. Melvin Ingram at outside linebacker. Jerome Baker and Benardrick McKinney, the former giant. Jalen Phillips, of course, at right outside linebacker. And their corners are quite good. Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, Noah Igbenogany, and Javelin Guidry offers a lot of speed. It's going to be tough to beat those corners with, of course, some good safeties. Javon Holland and Jordan Whitehead with the Texas legend, Brandon Jones. Coach! Protection for the quarterback was a major issue this past week as you surrendered a high volume of sacks. Where do those struggles start? Well, I don't want to blame anybody. I don't know what coach is going up and, and saying, you know what, Cody Bailey sucks. Or, oh man, Evan Neal got toasted on Monday Night Football against a Pro Bowl defensive lineman. He sucks. I don't know. I don't know what we can say here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we fire up the offensive line. It all starts up front, which I think is true. But also, sacks are a quarterback stat as well, so I'm conflicted. But the number one job of the offensive line is to keep the quarterback clean and some other stuff, he said for sure. With that being said, how do you get the group back on track? Um, I think we're going to go extra preparation. We're going to get back to the drawing board and spend some extra time driving home the fundamentals to make sure we don't have a week like that again. I think that's fair. You know, work is or work and focus on technique. An increased focus on pass pro will give your offensive line plus three pass block power and pass block finesse this week. We should have a little bit more time. However, there is a give and take. We're going to have minus three run block power and run block finesse this week as well. Might be a little bit tougher to run the football with Saquon Barkley as a result, which is a little bit frustrating, but we'll get a temporary boost if we limit sacks today. And it's not like the Dolphins defensive line is anything crazy. So as long as we, we like keep six into block, I think we're going to be okay. So we'll keep in six to block. And as long as they don't get too crazy with their their blitzes, I think we should be good. And we are four and four. This is essentially our midseason mark here in week nine. Although our bye week does not come a little bit later until about week 14. Weekly strategy. It seems like Edward Sloan will be the starter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and defend short pass as opposed to medium. Although, 
Yeah, no, let's do that. Gonna go half pads and split for everybody. We just need to keep the team healthy. I think one of the biggest things that has held us back at times in this series uh, have been injuries. We are dealing with injuries right now even. The rookie Derek Cooper has not played a whole ton, but when he has played, he's been great. But injuries have been a really big problem for him. And yes, some of them have been on the field, but also we don't want to contribute to that and get any of these players injured off the field or, or in practice, which, come on, you're talking about practice. Practice. You don't want those guys getting hurt here. I think I'm pretty comfortable keeping all of these focus players in for the time being. The only thing I would change, I would say, is the weekly game plan, which would get us, um, I don't know, two plus passing touchdowns, allow 30 points or less. I think it's going to be doable, especially with two minute quarters, 250 plus offensive yards in head coach win the turnover battle we've done a better job of that lately our defense needs to step up it's going to be tough today there's some really really good really fast receivers on miami our dbs are going to have to play well but i think it starts up front get pressure on tua or edward sloan whoever the quarterback happens to be force the football out quickly and I think we're going to have a really good time. Jared Wilson with an upgrade. I'll let the CPU handle that. Here we go. Breaking these uniforms out. See, Cody Bailey did throw three interceptions last week. Obviously, I can take some accountability for some of those. Uh, some of them, as usual, are tough, though. These Dolphins uniforms looking tough as well. I really like the Dolphins color scheme. My favorite color is orange, and I, I like teal as well. I think the Dolphins logo is awesome. I like the Dolphins a lot. And I've liked their drafts over the years. I was a huge Javon Holland guy coming out of, uh, of school. Same with Jalen Waddle, obviously, if you've been on the channel. Same with Jalen Phillips. And then the Dolphins got all of those guys in the same draft. I was really happy with how uh, that went for them. As you can see, though, Dontrell Cobb has played very, very well of late. Is up to superstar development. We've got a number of superstars on this team. There's another one of Dory Jackson. Hopefully, Xavier McKinney is trending in that direction. Need to see him make some more plays. This Dolphins team has some young players out there. Oh no, Edward Sloan is not wearing number 13. This is unbelievable. But we will kick off to start the fan favorite. I've been recording in advance and I'm seeing Wyatt Anthony, the rookie out of Nebraska, getting plenty of love in the comments section. You guys seem to love Wyatt Anthony, which is cool because dude's a beast. But it is first and 10, 10 minutes on the clock. Number 13 is just unbelievable. You guys may have heard of Dan Marino. Is Sloan's going to take off? Crowder can't wrap him up, and Sloan is on the run. First play of the game is a 16-yard rush for the rookie quarterback. He went to school in Miami, stayed local. We actually facilitated the Dolphins in moving up to get Edward Sloan. We had that number three overall pick, and the Dolphins wanted to move up. We let them move up, and they took the hometown kid, Edward Sloan. Here he is playing under the... Bright lights of MetLife Stadium and making some plays against us. Up the middle, that's good blocking. Tony Pollard's got a first down. Saw that a lot in real life on Monday Night Football. Tony Pollard and just a better Cowboys offensive line. Did a really good job of making plays for them, but it is a running back by committee situation in Miami. Chase Edmonds rotates in and he'll get the touch and run past Tay Crowder and he's still going. Brings them to the 37. Dolphins moving the football. See Akeel Edmonds in as well. I'm really excited with what we've seen out of him. Didn't really expect him to be uh, playing so well right out the gate, but he has. But it's just another Dolphins big game. They keep coming out and making us think it's going to be a pass, and they run, run, run. I saw some genius suggestions to move into 4-6 uh, to stop the run. I don't know if you've noticed. It's not in the playbook. Maybe I should just change the playbook every week. That's that's realistic. As Sloan going to throw right in front of the safety. Julian Love and complete it. Tyree Kill. Uh, we really needed to bring him down in the backfield. Didn't happen. And it is first and goal for Miami. Uh, they're not really even letting us get situated here. Sloan is just causing problems, but Dontrell Cobb rocks him. Kiss the ring. The Don. Brings down Edward Sloan, rookie on rookie crime. The new superstar playing like one. He's so fast. Uh, doesn't have the big hitter trait, unfortunately. We'd love to see that football hit the ground. But uh, it's all right. We made a big play. Sloan trying to go through him. He broke a tackle earlier on the run. 
Dontrell Cobb says, not so fast. Not this time. Sloan gonna roll out again, under pressure and going down. Kayvon Thibodeau was there, but Aziz Ojulari was the one who ultimately brought him down. Curious to see if they're gonna rule this as half a sack or a full sack for Ojulari. Either way, we got the result we wanted. Back-to-back -back sacks for the Big Blue Wrecking Crew. That's what we're trying to recreate. You remember Harry Carson? Well, you probably don't. I don't either. I wasn't alive. But Harry Carson, Lawrence Taylor, Carl Banks. We want to bring back the Big, uh, Big Blue Wrecking Crew, but Xavier McKinney's right there and doesn't get a hand up. Sloan threw it right at him. Completes it to Jalen Waddell. Not enough for the first down. Obviously, it's end goal, so they needed to get into the end zone, and they didn't get it. They'll settle for three with the field goal. Sanders puts them on the board first. All in all, not a bad uh, comeback for our defense. They kind of just ran the ball down our throat, and as soon as they tried to go a different direction, Edward Sloan, not really feeling very comfortable in the pocket, and uh, kept trying to get out and make plays, but uh, couldn't do it. Ran into a couple of sacks, was pressured, made a couple of nice throws as well. Not going to discount that. But our defense, bend but don't break. That Sometimes... That's a good thing. Here's Cody Bailey's numbers. They're getting better. I'm, I'm happy with where they look right now. Obviously, 19 interceptions is terrible. But when you take the first half of the first half of the season, first quarter, uh, Cody Bailey was launching interceptions left and right. I think a lot of them were unwarranted, to be honest. But obviously, I'm going to make mistakes, too. So it was just, as always, a brutal combination. I will also mention to the Run the Ball crowd, Saquon Barkley currently has the second most carries in the NFL in Season 2. So he's getting the ball a lot. Don't worry about that. 25 carries a week ago went for over 100. Had some big gains, but also when you, you start like that and only have one yard, you, you kind of get forced into a situation where uh, you have to pass. But with only three defensive linemen, um, I'd like to run the ball here and see if we can find space. I did not cut that back to the right. I did not. Uh, I don't know why he just didn't go straight. I'm trying to just run straight through that hole. I don't know what that is. I swear I did not click left or right on the left stick. We had plenty of space. I don't know why he did that. And already it is third down and 10. Trying to convert. We'll probably leave Saquon in a block. Uh, usually Nick Duvall is the guy I target on these. He's got to have it. And he's open. We got to have it. And we got it. Nick Duvall, the rookie tight end out of Stanford, has played incredibly well. I feel like... There's a misconception of the comments that, oh, Jaden Rhodes is the big tight end and Nick Duvall is just kind of like the vertical get up the field guy. And that is true. He is great at getting up the field. He's also 6'4", 240. This is not a small, small tight end, right? He is a massive human being as well. It just so happens that Jaden Rhodes is a little bit taller at 6'6". Six six. But it is a fresh set of downs. As we check down to Odell Beckham Jr. Good speed and a juke from Odell. Odell's found the edge. Odell with good speed. And Odell Beckham Jr. With a huge gain for the Giants. Right to the 20 and we enter the red zone. Here at home. That's a great play from Odell. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Check down to your playmakers. We have a, a bunch of great receivers after the catch. Kadarius Tony, Odell Beckham Jr., Wandell Robinson. Put the football in the hands of your playmakers and let them make plays. Don't try to do too much. Melvin Gordon into the backfield now, but he will not get this touch. It's going to be Kadarius Toney. Tried to hard cut back up the field, and uh, he didn't hard cut. Believe me, it's not tough to hit left trigger. I'm doing it. Don't really know why that would be. We'll go to another rookie. It's Jaden Rhodes. There's a the big tight end. Making this a very manageable third down and one. I never really like to run the ball when it's obvious we're going to run the ball, though. But we'll try it. Third and one. Barkley up the middle. There's space. Broken tackle for Saquon. He's falling down to the two. Barkley off to a good start. Had that rough first carry. But other than that, he's been spectacular. And sometimes spectacular doesn't mean, oh, 20, 30-yard rush. You know, sometimes... It's just, okay, we expected two and he got seven. Like, that's a, that's a fantastic play. As Kadarius Tony will get the touch pass, cut right back up the middle, and score the first touchdown of the game for either side. Giants take the lead. Kadarius Tony. Will that count as a passing touchdown? Was that a touch pass? I think it was. It wasn't a sweep or anything. But that's great. And we have wind in this game as well. So the range of Wyatt Anthony potentially going even farther... 
Big time plays and a great first drive for us. No mistakes. Good first quarter, seven to three Giants. Only 11 seconds to play. Maybe 11 minutes is better. I don't know, we're messing around with it still. Looking for that best experience, that Goldilocks zone. Not too short, not too long. Looking for just right. As Edward Sloan operating out of the gun. Could be the final play of the first quarter. He's going to scramble, throw crossbody, and throw it to Tay Crowder. Crowder, open shot to the end zone. And he gets there. Pick six, Tay Crowder, shades of season one. He is in a contract year. Big plays like that could get him paid. Edward Sloan just being paranoid in the pocket today. Running back Chase Edmonds couldn't get to it. And Tay Crowder just sitting right there. Didn't have to do much. Caught the pass and ran about 15, 20 yards back for the score. Just like that, out of nowhere, it's 14 to three Giants. Oh, they're getting creative. Okay, didn't really expect him to get it. Big hit by Dexter Lawrence in the first quarter. It's Calvin Ridley. You'd think with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell, if you're gonna get creative and hand it off to any of your receivers, it'd be one of those two. But Calvin Ridley is the one who gets it, probably operating in the slot for Miami. And I mean, I guess it's a pretty positive play for him as we'll try to dial up some heat on second down and five. Quick throw from Sloan and it is a first down. Just got the football out quickly. Didn't give us time to get really that close to him. I think on those man blitzes, we want to get close, force that football out real quickly, and if we're pressed up, there's going to be no space to go with the ball. As Pollard runs right into a Leonard Williams wall. No gain. Second and 10. Check down, Edward. He's going over the middle and incomplete. Firing for Tyreek Hill, but no dice. Third and 10. Sloan throwing on the run and incomplete for the tight end, Hunter Long. Little long on the throw, and they will punt. The rookie quarterback has struggled a bit today. I thought he was going to be a big problem on, on parts of that first drive, but has not been the case so far as Larry Smith will return and not really find too much. First and 10, going play action, and we're just going to check down. I saw a receiver open downfield, the Y on the cross, uh, just worried about you know, play action with the time we would actually have to make that throw. Could have been makeable. We've seen misses before. Just want to take what felt like more guaranteed yards. As Saquon kind of runs into Damian Davis, the rookie out of Georgia. Just can't get by him. He'll get another touch though. And Saquon with a good move and a broken tackle and a first down for the Giants. You know, we're getting the football out quickly here. I wonder if Kadarius Tony is a realistic option to throw the ball here. We're going to go to him. Got to make somebody miss in space. There's a missed tackle. Darius Tony, nine yard gain, starting out seven of seven for 70 yards and a touchdown for Cody Bailey. The rookie's really starting to come along here. Second down and one. See what we can go ahead and do. Quick throw underneath to Beckham. That's a first down. Barkley gonna cut it outside. A lot of Dolphins surrounding him though. That's what, seven? Before there was another Giant even close. Good play though. Second and one, play action. We're going to throw in front of Tony incomplete. First miss on the day for Cody Bailey. We put Nick Duvall out on a route instead of keeping him in a block. Maybe would have had more time if he stayed in, but I wanted to throw to him. But Barkley gets another giant first down. Oh, Miami ready for the run that time. Shut Saquon down completely. We're going to lose four. We take a shot here on second and 14. We're going to go underneath. It's Larry Smith. The rookie has electric speed, and sometimes that doesn't just mean, okay, throw it to him deep. Use that speed underneath. Let him run away from linebackers, uh, especially if they're in zone coverage. So uh, no problem with doing that, setting up third and four. And we might do it again here. Put it out in front of him. Larry Smith with a catch, and that should be a first down, and it is. Good way to hold on through contact, by the way. That was not an easy catch. Road's going to come across. Looking for space with Barkley. It's a good run. We might go hurry up here. I kind of like the personnel that we had out there. Might try and get creative. And Jaden Rhodes could be a really intriguing option here. As we're going to run with Cody Bailey. He's got pretty good speed. And that is a first down for the Giants. This offense is moving. Obviously, when we play mistake-free football, we're going to be really tough to beat. RPO. Kadarius Tony with the catch and a broken tackle. Just keep forward progress. Don't try to fight it. 
Second and six. Oh no. Panicked. That's a mistake. First big mistake of the game. Running into Melvin Ingram, and that is a Miami big time play. Third and 12. Beckham! Great ball from Cody Bailey, and it's an Odell Beckham Jr. touchdown. Hey, if you make a mistake, it's all right as long as you can do that. Recover, make a play. It's 21 to three, pending the extra point. Defense just leaving Odell. You wanna play zone coverage near the goal line? We called up the perfect play to split the safeties. Linebacker couldn't get there. Easy touchdown and it's 21 to three. You know, it's so funny to see what an established quarterback can do opposed to the rookie. When we played Kirk Cousins, it might be, okay, we just drifted away from that. When we played Kirk Cousins, it was like we were playing 2007 Tom Brady and Randy Moss with Adam Thielen. But uh, here with Edward Sloan, it's not going so well. You can kiss the ring and you can kiss the football goodbye. Easy reads, good night moon, and that might be good night here early for the Dolphins. Kiss the ring, Dontrell Cobb, the Don. Just easy, easy spot drop. I mean, he threw it right to him. Never gonna get an easier interception than that if you're Dontrell Cobb. Edward Sloan having a rough game. And the draft Edward Sloan crowd, not looking so good right, around, right about now. We're trying to score before the end of the half here. We're gonna throw to Odell. Probably call our first timeout. No mistakes here. No mistakes. Eh, better than a pick. It's the rookie Damian Davis with the sack. We'll call a timeout. Leave Barkley in a block. Odell is uncovered. Odell with a broken tackle. He's down to the two. We're gonna move into the hurry up here. Uh, probably should have called a timeout. Doesn't matter. Just throw to Odell. Melvin Ingram was in coverage on Odell Beckham Jr. There's a problem. It's gonna be 28 to three Giants. Our offense is looking real easy right now. But that is the weak point of this Dolphins team that we saw. Their defense just isn't that great right now. They have good corners, but we haven't tried their corners. That's the thing. We have not tried their corners. But that's part of the game plan, part of the strategy. Um, it, it feels good to blow out some of these teams when I think we've, we've out game plan them, you know? That's gonna end the first half. I think we've played great football so far. Absolutely love it. And uh, the Dolphins, they have playmakers on offense, but as you've seen so far, it starts with the quarterback. And when the quarterback is uncomfortable and unable to just stand in the pocket and make throws, make plays, the offense is gonna struggle and they've struggled mightily because of the rookie Edward Sloan. With a different quarterback, you know, who knows what the score is right now? Because we don't have a pick six. You know, I think we have multiple, multiple pick six, or we have, we have, multiple, we have a pick six from Tay Crowder, multiple interceptions. Uh, the one to Dontrell Cobb was not a pick six, obviously. But uh, that's a huge swing in the game because it accounts for 14 points. Our offensive focus, I think, is going to be run inside now. Uh, I'd like to boost, for sure, I'd like to boost uh, the run blocking because we know we have a couple of detractors this game. Uh, unfortunately, I've been sacked already with Cody Bailey and we need to avoid sacks this game. So that obviously is less than ideal. But uh, we'll just try to avoid them here in the second half. A sack is still better than an interception. I don't care that much about the game boost or whatever they're gonna do. I'd rather just stay clean with Cody Bailey, keep that clean sheet, keep playing well. Third down and six. We're stepping up with Bailey. We got a block from Odell. Bailey still on his feet. We'll pick up the first. We had a couple options we could have thrown to, but Bailey, a little scramble happy. Oh, look at Barkley. First to get to the second level there, but couldn't finish the play. And by that, I mean couldn't find the end zone. Third and three. Going to the flat. Okay, that is not a good throw from Cody Bailey. Ball came out late, uh, but didn't want to make a mistake. And we'll end up punting for the first time today. Cook's done a pretty good job this year. We've had to use him quite more, or quite a bit more than I would want. And I think this is going to be a good one. Nope, bounce to the wrong side, and that is a touchback. No good. Look at Tua holding the freaking tablet, the Microsoft Surface. Okay. How, is, how good is Hunter Long? For real. We have to be able to pressure the right side of the line. Have to be able to. Dontrell Cobb cannot wrap up. 
Tony Pollard's been a problem today, and they just really have not used him as much as they needed to. Five rushes for 42 yards. That's obviously fantastic. And they've just not kept it up. They haven't kept him uh, as the focus. And that's, I mean, clearly been a mistake for him so far. As they will go underneath the running back, and Xavier McKinney will allow him to pick up the first. Bressum, get that football out quickly. We're blitzing, and that is a quick throw, and we got torched. And that's not Jalen Waddle. That's not Tyreek Hill. That is the running back, Chase Edmonds, who torched Darnay Holmes. Unacceptable. Even up 28 to 3. Unacceptable. Third and six. Huge play for Sloan, trying to keep the Dolphins in the game. It's looking ugly right now. But there's plenty of time left, and that's not going to help. Big play, Darnay. He's either allowing one or he's getting one, making one. Interception for Darnay Holmes. Couldn't stay in the end zone, though. We'll start with the ball on the one-yard line. That sucks. But we got the football. Another mistake for Edward Sloan. Rookie quarterback having a very bad game. We got to get out of the back of our own end zone, though. Looking for space with Saquon. It's another about yard or two, and I think we'll probably run here on third and eight. Here's a run. We got blockers. Barkley with a big stiff arm. Broken tackle. Saquon got real close, and they're going to give it to him. First down, Saquon Barkley. Melvin Gordon into the game. Now he'll get a touch, and he'll get a few. Last play of the third quarter. Looking to be a pass, and it is to Duval. He breaks a tackle. I don't even know. We lost yards. Yeah, geez. It's the end of the third quarter, though. We've played well. I can excuse a few mistakes. Third and ten. We're going to Duval. He makes a nice catch in traffic. I hate to say it. We were really never trying to convert there. Hunt will start the Dolphins at the 43-yard line. Their own 43. Uh, Edward Sloan struggled a lot today. That's the difference right now. If he played well... I don't really even want to know what the score is or would be because our offense has played well. I don't want to take anything away from them. But Sloan has really, really struggled, and that will continue. Wow, Waddle breaks up an interception. Julian Love fixing to get one there. Sloan, man, has looked terrible. Quick throw. Darnay allows the catch. Tyreek Hill broke a tackle as well. Three interceptions for Sloan, only eight completions. I'm going to throw the challenge flag on that last one. Uh, partially because we came out in three deep from a coach suggestion on second and two, which is dumb. But also, I, yeah, I don't think Waddle got two feet in. I think that left foot came in and came down out of bounds. I don't think that's a catch. Really close. Not a great angle there. The first one was the best one. But it's worth it. We don't really need three timeouts anyway. Uh, we'll try to set them back here. And we'll see if there is a change. And it is overturned. One of the few successful challenges you'll ever see in Madden. Oh, that's a good play. Hunter Long has been the favorite target of Edward Sloan here by a lot. He's thrown to him a few times. He's completed it a few times. Uh, I think an interception as well. But he's been way better than I would have expected today. Uh, that's for sure. There's Ridley. That's a first down. Just over seven to play. Sloan looking to run. He's breaking a sack, and Leonard Williams makes sure he's not going far. I think it was a half a sack earlier, and I think that's another half sack for Thibodeau, uh, giving him one on the game. Leonard Williams does a really, really good job to shed the block and then play contain, making sure Edward Sloan can't escape too far. Thibodeau couldn't bring him down, but that's why you have multiple players on the field. If one misses, you got another one that can make a play, and uh, Leonard Williams did a really good job there. Otherwise, Kayvon Thibodeau would not... I've gotten credit for that sack. Another creative play for Miami. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Take Crowder with the TFL. He certainly uh, has played better of late. Sloan going to run. And he's going to slide before contact. Dontrell Cobb was closing in. It's fourth and six. Of course, Miami forced to go for it here. They're still technically in it. They're going to need a lot of luck, though. They have three timeouts. They just need a touchdown. And we, of course... Need to stop a touchdown from happening. And oh my goodness, it's easy reads again. Uh, oh, the places you'll go. Easy reads for Dontrell Cobb. The Don. Kiss the ring. I mean, it, it, he might be the Don here. It looks like Edward Sloan owes him a ton of money. Keeps throwing him the football. Two interceptions in this game for Dontrell Cobb. It, it hasn't 
even there hasn't been one tough play in there. He's just throwing the ball right to him. Edward Sloan, we appreciate you. We're on the run. We're getting sacked. I don't know what that was. That was, that was terrible. Oh, we've been sacked four times today. Yeah, that's uh, a lot of that's on me. A lot of mistakes. Oh, pancake! Joshua Azudu just ran through a Miami Dolphin. Looks like Blitz is coming from the left. We're gonna leave in Saquon. And uh, we're gonna take a chance there. Nick Duvall couldn't go up and get it. it. Was a good try though. Cody Bailey only has 146 yards passing. Keep that in mind. I know everyone's gonna be calling for a slider change because you guys like to overreact to one game. Um, the game doesn't always play like this. And we haven't really even, we haven't done anything crazy on offense, keep in mind. We've just been consistent. We've had great field positioning. It literally just has been Edward Sloan giving us the football as frequent as he possibly can. It's a shame we didn't have a superstar X-Factor challenge today with Cobb because with two interceptions, he might've been there. Leonard Williams, gonna wrestle him down. Four takeaways today. Our season ranking is 31st in takeaways. Different story today. Second and four, we're spacing out. Quick throw, big hit by Dontrell Cobb, but Waddle holds on, it's a first down for Miami. We've allowed less than 150 passing yards, and a lot of that obviously is due to turnovers. I'd love to stay under 150, but it's gonna be a real challenge because uh, there's 20 yards of field positioning left, and we're not really trying to shut it down. Give me Leonard Williams, please. It's a nice tackle. Jared Wilson got in there first. Don't really see him a ton this season. We've just done better in the secondary. Sloan gonna take off. He's gonna slide. It's a first down for Miami. He's just always looking to run. He does have that scrambler archetype though, so I guess that makes sense. As Hill's gonna go down, and that's 167 yards passing for Sloan now. Okay. Second and two. Trying to keep him off the board. Just couldn't cover everybody, of course. It's a touchdown to the tight end. Hunter Long to run. Armstead injured on the play. Miami, I think it's just too little too late for him. Less than a minute to go. They still have three timeouts. They're obviously going to come out and onside, but it's just too little too late. They're actually not going to even try for the onside. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to return this. <laughs> no reason to. I don't even know if they're going to bother using their timeouts if they didn't try the onside. Yeah, they're not. You know, it's a shame Nick Duvall didn't really have a big game, but we don't really, we didn't really have a ton of uh, yards, period, right? But that is your final 28 to 10 Giants. We dominated this game, of course. Uh, score ended up being even closer than the game felt. Didn't finish drives in the second half, which was a little bit annoying. Uh, their defense, I think, played fairly well despite giving up 28 points. You guys saw the game. I mean, th actually think about it. We were effective. We were very efficient on offense, but we didn't dominate them in that regard. It was just, as I said, Edward Sloan just throwing us the football. Ended up 16 of 24 for 170 and a touchdown, but four interceptions. Cody Bailey, clean sheet. Three touchdowns, no interceptions, but less than 150 yards passing, but also only 18 completions on 21 attempts. It's a great game. Rushing, Saquon, 20 carries for 83 yards, no touchdowns for him. Tony Pollard averaged 7.8 per carry, only had six attempts. Seems like their offense could have done a little more running the ball to him and not Calvin Ridley. Receiving Odell, 7 for 84, two touchdowns. Kadarius Tony 5 for 22 and a touchdown. Nick Duvall basically did nothing today. Uh, Larry Smith did nothing. Jaden Rhodes had a catch. But I, I'm really comfortable with the result, even though we didn't put up big numbers. Two tackles for loss for Thibodeau. Ends up with a sack as well. A sack for Dontrell Cobb and two interceptions. Half a sack for Leonard Williams and Aziz Ojolari. Yeah, two picks for Dontrell Cobb. He's becoming the best linebacker in the league right in front of our very own eyes. A pick for Darnay Holmes and Tay Crowder. Very, very awesome game uh, for us. I think the best game that we've played in the entire series where it just seemed like the Dolphins did not stand a chance or really even a second maybe outside the first drive. Yeah, we scored zero points in the in the second half. That's interesting. We advanced to five and four. Uh, under Siege did not go well. We still were sacked quite a few times. Uh, Coach, you were intent on not letting the struggles from last week carry over to this week. Did you feel like you got the response you wanted? Uh, I think it was fine. Uh, kind of, we left a lot out there and still didn't perform as well as we would have liked, somewhat. 
Just means we have to keep working and it's always nice to not be performing as well as you want, but still get the win. Ooh, okay, that's fine. Plus a thousand XP and plus five morale for all players. And uh, after allowing three plus sacks, the offensive line will receive no temporary boost. So, uh, you know, you'll take the win. You'll take the XP for everybody. But obviously would have preferred a different result in terms of not allowing sacks. And we'll face a team that's really given us a lot of problems in week 10. Uh, and that is the Washington Commanders. We'll check out the injury report. Derek Cooper still not ready to come back. Uh, I feel like he's been out forever at this point, man. It's uh, really frustrating. I feel like he's missed so much time. However, for the Commanders, we will see Daniel Brinkley for the first time. We'll upgrade some of these guys before we call this an episode. For Saquon, as nice as it would be to get to 90 elusive back, I'm going to do power back here, get it up to an 85, because then we unlock the arm bar ability. And I just instinctively all the time, hit stiff arm when I'm running with Saquon and, and truck as well. I just prefer a power back, but somebody that can move a little bit like Saquon as well uh, is really, really nice. He gets, he gets 88 trucking now. So jukebox is cool. Uh, reach for it. I don't really feel like I noticed too much, but some of these seem like they're going to be really useful. I'm going to go arm bar. I've seen a bunch of different comments about um, getting different abilities on. I've, I've customized abilities. I think they're as good as we can make them right now. Uh, I just really don't like a lot of them. Like, I don't know if it's different in Ultimate Team or whatever, but Jukebox to me, steerable Juke animations, sounds like it'd be so good. And I just, you still against the CPU don't really make anybody miss that frequently. Joshua Azudu gets an upgrade. He's got to show us that he can be the starting left guard of the future. Don't think we've exactly seen that just yet. Um, he's had some good games, had some bad games, had a pancake in the previous game, of course, you guys just saw. So that's encouraging. Jaden Rhodes is one that I like a lot. I'd love to see him get a speed boost at some point. But for him, I think spectacular catch has to be higher. Absolutely need that to get upgraded because um, we can use him in the, in the red zone as a, as a finisher. He goes up to a 74 and uh, give me spectacular catch. You get plus four short route running. I guess I'm not really mad at that. Gets up into the 70s. I really think Derek Cooper can end up being a superstar caliber player for us. The combination of athleticism is just ridiculous with his finesse moves already. Uh, doesn't have any rush moves, unfortunately, in the traits. But I think he's just a... He's going to be a beast. I'm really excited about him. Uh, we're going to go... We're going to go run stopper on him. That moves him up to a 73 overall. I want to see him get back on the field, but these are good boosts. We got to get him a little bit better uh, playing off ball, but I think we will end up focusing on finesse moves at some point with speed rusher, but plus two block sheds, really nice. Plus one to man end zone and then tackle play rec and awareness all move up by one. I want to get tackling into the eighties, but block shedding at a 70, I think puts that in a really nice spot. I think D Coop's going to end up being awesome for us. I really, really do. I am going to go back to 11 minute quarters though. I think that was the, the sweet spot with the 15 minute uh, minimum or 15 second minimum play clock time. So we'll try that out, and you guys will see everything in the next episode. We'll start off uh, start off with staff points, and then see what it's going to look like to play Daniel Brinkley for the first time. We traded down twice. We ignored him twice. We didn't draft him, and guess who did? Our division rival. He does have star dev. We checked. He's been injured some of this season. And uh, who knows where he's even going to play. But he is very, very good. And uh, it'll be interesting. And he's from New York, too. We couldn't see that. He is from New York. And we didn't take him. Oh, uh, Daniel Brinkley, furious. I mean, he did go to college at Buffalo, right? But that's not, like, close. But wow. All right. Some fun stuff with Daniel Brinkley. Who knows uh, what it's going to look like when his contract's up in four or five years. But thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.